welcome back to the channel it's kitty here i hope you're having a great day welcome back to another speed build today we're actually doing a collab with my good friend yuna gina i have collabed with her before but that was a group collab so today we're doing just kind of like just the two of us we're doing a collab together so we're gonna be doing a big luxury family penthouse she built this you got a little like view of the whole build in the beginning so she's an amazing builder like what i cannot build penthouses i don't know what it is i can furnish apartments i can build houses but i just can't make a good looking penthouse i've tried and it's impossible i don't know it's just it's just something i can't do but like look at this she built this and it looks so freaking good like what the crap so our deal was that she was gonna build the house and like do the exterior she also did like all the outside bits you know like put like the furniture outside or whatever and then I was gonna furnish it we also agreed to keep it like not massive so I wouldn't have to furnish this for like eight hours it still took me like four hours because I'm freaking slow but it was really really fun and I really like how it turned out and I really love just like the house it is so cool I'm like so impressed by what she built so if you don't know who yuna jean is i'm gonna leave her channel and video link down in the description i'm gonna try to put in the end card as well so definitely go check her out she's a really really sweet girl and she's a great builder great simmer so definitely go subscribe to her if you like sims content i mean obviously you do because you're watching this video and go go like her videos and go tell her that i sent you because i'm sure you guys are gonna love her content as well so definitely go check her out as well and i mean let's just look at this penthouse it is amazing so you will not be disappointed anyways i kind of wanted to well she called this luxury family penthouse as you can see that's what it's called in the top left when she uploaded the gallery for me to download it and furnish it so i kind of went with that it's meant for a family it has three bedrooms obviously one is for the parents and then there's one teen bedroom and one kid bedroom i actually put two beds in there so maybe it's for the three kids and the parents and it's very luxurious. It's like, it's probably very expensive. I didn't actually check how much this costs, but I used like the best stuff in here. And I actually used a lot of stuff from Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack because I just thought that was like very luxurious, glamorous, obviously that's what it's called, <laughs> glamour stuff pack. So I really like that. Like this living room area uses like everything from vintage glamour, like the couches, that ottoman, that coffee tables, the little side tables, um, everything except that rug is from Parenthood and I'm obsessed with it. So I had to use it here. It was like the first item that I knew I just wanted to use. And that huge TV is actually from uh, City Living. I don't know where are those marble side tables from. I forget. Maybe they're from from city living as well i am not sure now i have forgotten but i really really like that living room area and i put that huge like i don't know what is it like circular chandelier coming from the second floor because it's kind of like a loft you, there's no second floor on top of the living room area so it's hanging all the way down and I sized it up as well. So it's really huge and it looks so good from the outside. You're going to see some pictures in the end, but I really, really love that detail as well. Also, I'm feeling a little bit sick today. So sorry, sorry if I sound different or anything in this video, but I was really excited to get this video out today for you guys. So obviously I'm trying to do this voiceover, even though I don't feel the best, but we're going to just ignore that and focus on the build. So she did put some like items down kind of saying what room was what when she was like building this she obviously had like an idea in mind because she did the floor plan as well I asked her to because you guys know I'm not very good at floor planning so she did the floor plan and then like she put a fridge in this room to like show me that this is the kitchen so we made this into a kitchen and it's really huge but I really wanted to put a bar in here because I thought that was like something you always have in like expensive penthouses so I put a huge bar in the middle and then that whole wall is like kitchen counters and cabinets you have two stoves you have that huge fridge and you have like everything you could need I put another chandelier on top of the bar I really like that as well and also I did cut a bunch of this out mostly just really boring bits of me like trying to find clutter or trying to find a specific item because I am so slow at building I've realized it I'm just so slow and also my computer is not the fastest so that also makes me even slower when I'm trying to build because like stuff loads really slowly so I'm just it took me four hours to do this I'm like come on it probably didn't take her like that long to build the entire thing and I'm even slower at building than I am at furnishing so that's a bit ridiculous but 
I don't know. It did turn out really nice. I'm just really slow. So that's why I cut some bits out that were really boring. But you do get to like see the final result and like all the important bits. And obviously there's screenshots in the end. So you can see everything from them. There's more screenshots in her video of like her building this house. So and like of the exterior and stuff. I mostly took pictures of the interior for this video. But if you want to see her build this house, this penthouse, definitely, definitely go check out her video. Like I said, it is in the description she built this entire thing and uploaded it to her channel and I need to go watch that too because I haven't obviously <laughs> seen it yet but like how did she do it how did she make it look good because I can't it's like magic some people have it and some people don't <laughs> obviously I don't have it I don't know how to build penthouses. that's why there has been exactly one penthouse on my channel and that was the ombre penthouse that I did that one was okay but it was basically just a bunch of boxes on top of each other so it wasn't like the most creative thing or anything but it turned out okay it was like a really flowery one but this one this one is looks like an actual real life penthouse so she did an amazing job. Go watch her video on how she built this. Anyways, this is like the dining room. I, I kept the whole... Well, I had this idea of like... Keep, the parents try to keep all the kids stuff out of the first floor. That's basically my thought. The first floor is like very neutral colors, mostly white and beige and like, I don't know, like gold or like light brown or whatever. So it's very like glamorous or if you have guests over, you don't see any like kids toys or anything around on the first floor. It's all on the second floor where the kids bedrooms are. So the first floor is just very tidy, very modern, like super nice looking. <laughs> So no kid stuff on the first floor, but then in the second floor, the kids can do whatever they want and they can have their stuff laying around if they want. But the parents just kind of were like, okay, first floor, don't make a mess down here. <laughs> we're going to try to keep this looking good. I mean, obviously they have like maids or something. Come clean this. Or like they, they might even have like a butler. How cool is that? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. The parents' bedroom is in the first floor here. Uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty white, actually. <laughs> I used a lot of stuff from Vintage Glamour again. And we even put that vanity table in here. And I put a little weird item behind it that I really don't get. It's like that. It's a wall decor item that has the, like, little light bulbs around it like you would have in like a vanity mirror but it's not a mirror and there's not a single mirror in game that fits inside that frame so I really don't understand what were the sims team thinking when they made that item I'm gonna show it to you in a second when I put it there but like I just don't get it I mean it's like it's in the lab category obviously because it has all these light bulbs it doesn't really fit there but I thought it looked good enough I think it looks really freaking cool there so I was like let's just use it I know it's a bit weird but that should have been there in the first place. That should be a mirror and it isn't. Obviously, we got like a full body mirror now from Parenthood that has those same light bulbs. So I love that one. But that's just the item makes no sense. It would make sense if there was a mirror, like a separate item that fit inside it. But there isn't. So I'm so confused. <laughs> Anyways, I think I was going to say something about the dining room as well. But basically, it's just a very big room. Has a huge dining table, nice uh, mason jar lamps on top of it. And I put some like, I think they were like wine shelves, but maybe they're like nectar shelves or something thing in the sims in there as well and it turned out pretty cool i really liked it and i like this bedroom as well i always have an issue leaving like walls bare i always want to put something on the walls i feel like there always needs to be a painting or a wall decor item or something or at least different color wallpaper but this is a huge penthouse and it's not supposed to be too cluttered so i was trying to tell myself it's okay just be cool okay <laughs> it doesn't matter if there's like a bare wall you will survive so it's fine. This bedroom does have its own ensuite. I put this huge bathtub in here. We're getting another corner bathtub in Fitness Sims 4 Fitness Stuff Pack, whatever it's called, very soon on the June 20th that is coming out. There's a new corner bathtub, but this is the one from Base Game. I put it in here. I thought it was like very luxurious. The parents would love to have it. And then yeah, upstairs you have two more bedrooms, which are the kids' rooms, and then there's like a shared bathroom. There's actually another bathroom down here as well, right there where you come into the elevator, then the door next to it, it leads to another bathroom. I don't think I furnished it until a bit later because I completely forgot that it was there, but I do to it, don't worry. It actually turns out to be like one of my favorite bathrooms ever. 
it's so cool i love the color scheme it was very black and white so i don't know where you come in it's more black and white and then when you go into like the kitchen and living room it's more like white and beige so uh, it's still very neutral colors very glamorous looking i really really like this and i did put in this family bulletin board as well we got from parenthood because i feel like it needs to be in every freaking house now that i built and why not this is still close to when parenthood was released and it is a family pet house so i thought of course we'll put it in i don't actually know if your sims can use it considering there's that side table underneath it but i sure hope so <laughs> if they can't obviously you can just like take that out or move it anywhere else you would want and oh my gosh i put a piano up here because i thought it was like the best place ever for it it's like right on this like above the living room where you can look down and you can sit down there and listen to someone play the piano or whatever it was just a perfect spot for a piano so i was like of course we're putting one in and like what says more like glamour than the piano i don't know it was just i i have like never used the item in any of my bills because it just never suits the theme that i'm going for but here it was perfect <laughs> anyways we're in like this upstairs lounge area now which i made into like a little computer hangout area because I don't think anyone has a computer in their room. I think these are the only two computers in the whole house. I didn't put one in the parents' room and then I was like, hmm, where am I gonna put the computer? So I made this little computer area there. I mean, it's like the parents definitely know what their kids are doing on their computers now since they don't have computers in their rooms. But you can like study here, do your homework or study for your homework on the computer. You can play games, you can hang out there, whatever. There's a couch on the other side. And you also go on the balcony from here. There's so many balconies on here as well. And this is three floors. The upstairs, like the third floor, is mainly just like an entry area. And then this huge like balcony patio area that she furnished that is so nice there's like a grilling area and like really cool little like grill i don't know what it's called but it looks really good and then there's like dining table and then there's two hot tubs amazing can i move in here please i don't even know but for this floor now we're adding in a little bit more color and i'm adding in kids toys as well i know there's some kids toys outside on the first floor but they're pretty like neat so i thought it was okay but here i just kind of put them everywhere and put lots of on this shelf as well i'm gonna cut it out but i did put a bunch on there and then i kept the kids room kind of neutral because i didn't want to make them like specific for a boy or a girl so i kept the neutral color scheme as well because i did want i didn't want them to look like completely out of out of place in this whole like penthouse so i did keep kind of the neutral theme but more kid friendly so this is a teenager's room like i said can be a girl or a boy we're using this gray wallpaper from parenthood that i love it is so pretty it's just so i don't know so perfect so neutral and we made this like weird pyramid shelf thing on top of the bed and i feel like we clutter uh it's mostly white clutter but i really like how it turns out in the end and we're adding a little bit color and with those nightstand lamps that are super cute i think they're from bowling night or something i think so they're really fun a bit retro and then i make this kind of dresser unit combining the two new dressers from parenthood together and then the teen has like a study desk in this room and you've got a bookshelf i think uh, i put a camera down as well because i never use cameras in the sims 4 but like why is like the photography skill actually even good because i feel like you get photography like the scale really easily all you have to do is like take pictures but is there actually like any gameplay to it because I mean if you make your sim take a picture it just goes into like the screenshot mode and you take a picture yourself it's all like you can just send your sims in the nature to take some nature shots or anything so I don't know about that skill I've never really played around with it but I do think it's a cool skill but I don't feel like there's anything the sims can actually do themselves to like further the skill which is kind of weird but I did put a camera down because why not it's always cool to have that I mean the sims for sure maybe they'll make some use out of it I don't even know but put a lot of clutter on the study desk here and some plants on the floor as well and the cute little plant pot item next to the dresser from city living I don't even know what it's called but it's like full of succulents there it's super cute and then we put some posters I think I pulled some posters from the debug mode as well oh and some of those 
clutter items as well. It's like uh, if you if you do if you open the G panel and then you type in BB that show hidden objects, you're gonna get this whole new like menu of items that you don't otherwise see. It's like items your Sims would pull out during gameplay that you, but you can't actually like place them anywhere. Like for example, if they are doing their makeup on the vanity table, they will hold like a little makeup palette. So you can actually get that from the debug menu. So once you have the cheat on, you can just type in the search bar there on the top. Uh, I mean bottom left you just type in debug and then it shows you everything there and you can there's also like a bunch of new items in like decor like clutter items and stuff like that so that's where I pulled out some of those like snow globes and little figurines but that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. It just takes a while to scroll through everything because there is so much stuff in there, but it's that's, that's just where I got some of that stuff, if you guys were wondering. Oh, and I want to say before I'm done with this bathroom, this is the upstairs bathroom. We went back downstairs now. Sorry, downstairs bathroom. This is the black and white bathroom right next to the elevator where you come in, and I love that bathroom. It is like my favorite. I love all the new swatches from the new, like, top I, uh, object, whatever it is, the shower one with a different shower curtains I love that and that bathroom is just my favorite and then we're doing the upstairs bathroom this is the kids bathroom they share this bathroom uh it's pretty big it has like a walk-in closet next to it and then it has I made a little laundry room as well because I thought why not there's lots of space here so let's do that and I added a lot of color into this bathroom because I just I was thinking it's too boring it needs to have like something that makes it look like it's for kids very like cute and kid friendly so I added a lot of color from different like mirrors and the rugs and the towels and everything I've been putting those colorful fairy lights in here because why not those are from parenthood by the way and these new little curtains as well that you can chain up they're from parenthood they're pretty darn cute <laughs> I don't know if they fit the rest of the house but I thought I wanted to add at least a little bit color it's still not crazy or anything the wallpaper and stuff is still pretty neutral but I like how it turned out and then this is the walk-in wardrobe you have like from in the bathroom so this is also for the parents pretty much this is like for the parents they have their stuff here for some reason it's not downstairs I don't know don't ask me but <laughs> it is here from the kids bathroom pretty huge. I just used the new dressers from Parenthood and I put in the new vanity mirror as well. You have a little ottoman where you can sit and, I don't know, like put on shoes or whatever, or if you have friends over. And then that's where you also enter to the little laundry room or whatever you want to call it. By the way, when I make these laundry machines, that's the trick I learned from Cyberdoll. I love her as well. So I saw her do this in her laundry room video, I think. And I thought it looked really good and really, really realistic. These definitely look like laundry machines in my opinion. So I kind of copied that from her. I hope she doesn't mind. <laughs> At least I gave her credit, but I decided to just do a laundry room because I don't think I've like ever done one and we might be getting laundry next year in The Sims. So before that, let's just do one that's purely for decoration. I don't know if your sims will try to go use like those stoves that act as the washing machine so you might want to like lock this door or something if you're playing in here because it is purely for like decor purposes. It doesn't have like an actual use and here I also am using the hidden objects debug menu to pull out these kind of laundry looking little items to put on the shelves and stuff just to make it look a bit more messy, a bit more realistic. And I do like how that room turned out. I think it's very realistic to have a room like this in a huge like mansion type penthouse. By the way, you know Gina does like super huge mega mansions on her channel. And I know I don't do those because like I can't. <laughs> How can you build something like that huge? And then I don't know. I just I can't. I don't have the patience and I don't have the skills. But if you like mega mansions, go check out her channel. She's done a lot of them so far. And they're pretty darn good. And I mean just that's just very impressive. So <laughs> go check those out as well if you like them. The last thing we're gonna be doing is the kids' room. I don't know why I saved it for last, because this is one of my favorite rooms in the whole house. I kept the color scheme here to kind of like blue so I think that's very neutral again can be for a boy or girl or both because there's two beds here I always feel like single beds look really awkward by themselves that's just me but I just feel like it just make looks weird so I had to put two next to each other so it's kind of like a double bed except you do have your own beds and then we have put in a huge uh dollhouse in here and I put a little bunch of toys around as well you have a study desk in here you have a tv actually I put a tv here in front of the beds I know you can't really watch it from the bed in the Sims 4 but oh well you can just imagine use your <laughs> use your imagination there's a huge working tv 
TV in the first floor. So go use that if you're bothered that you can't really watch that TV apart from standing up. But I thought these kids would be really into Void Critters. So I put a bunch of those posters around and the little void critter decals as well and I think it turned out really really cute and I really like this if you want to download this house I'm gonna put it on the gallery ASAP <laughs> as soon as I remember I just yeah I need to do it still can't do it right now because I have to export this video and upload it but it will be in the gallery soon you can find it under my username simmerkittenyc or under hashtag simmerkitten Yuna Gina also has the unfurnished version on her origin ID which is just Yuna Gina so if you want that go download it from her don't forget to go check out her video and tell her that I send you guys there and yeah this is the house it's done now the few shots from the outside and then there's a bunch of pictures from the inside you definitely are not gonna miss anything thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and go subscribe to Eugenia <laughs> sorry I'm like saying that a million times but go she definitely deserves it and she's such a sweet person she deserves all the love you guys give me every day go give it to her as well anyways just hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you are having a great day. I'm going to leave you guys off with music now. I will see you again tomorrow for the next sim in my social media creator sim series. And maybe another part of the parenthood let's play. We will see. Anyways, hope you guys are having a super wonderful day and weekend. And uh, thanks for watching and bye-bye.